Folks, little sun, a little warmer today across most of the valley. Temperatures still in the 70s in parts of Hidalgo County, both Edinburgh and McAllen in the low 70s. But everybody else back into the 60s now. The beach has been there all day, 64 right now. Brownsville, Harlan, both at 66. Plus, I go checking in at 69 at this hour. Future track suggests that overnight temperatures don't go much of anywhere. This is 7 a.m. and we're still sitting in the mid 60s. And then we try to warm up briefly, but then a little cool front comes through. And while we may touch 70, 72, 73 in the morning. Front comes through midday or so and temperatures drop back into the upper 60s. This is not a big time cold front. In fact, by Friday, the impact of it will be gone and it'll be warmer on Friday than on Thursday. Watch Friday. We start in the low 60s by afternoon. Temperatures could reach the low 80s in parts of the valley. So a quick warm up behind that front and then Saturday and Sunday. I think we're setting the stage for a very warm holiday weekend starting at about 70 on Saturday morning into the 80s in many areas Saturday afternoon and Sunday. We will do it again. So both days of the holiday weekend look like they'll be at least 80. We've got 77 in there for Friday. Some places could be warmer than that. So we really are on a quick warming trend despite a little front coming through tomorrow afternoon. Again, not a big deal. The kind of front that gets in and gets out pretty quickly. So watch the cloud cover. We do see clouds tonight and during the daytime tomorrow as well. A lot of clouds and that could lead to spotty showers, maybe some light rain during the daytime tomorrow. Anything there should be pretty short lived though, because by Friday it's out of here. Some clouds in the morning, but by afternoon a little bit of sunshine. And then for Saturday and Sunday, I think we're looking at a mix of clouds and sun, but probably heavier on the sun side. And that leaves us with a couple of pretty nice days. I'll be them warm for this time of year. 30% chance of some rain tomorrow. Then we drop it off to something left over early Friday morning. Most of the day is dry. Saturday should be dry as well. The rest of Texas 58 in Dallas. Amarillo a little colder at 48, 65 in San Antonio. Houston tonight at 67 degrees. A front in the state pushes in tomorrow afternoon and then triggers a shower or two. But just as quickly as it gets here, it moves back to the north as a warm front. So that allows the warmer temperatures to build back in. Another front skirts Texas early in the weekend. The next one coming into the western part of the country on Saturday. That's the one that will kind of tease us on Monday and Tuesday. Probably won't push all the way through, so we don't think we're going to cool off with that front. So we should stay pretty mild most of next week as well. Maybe a little cooler because there's more clouds because of that front, but that's about the extent of the cooling. Not much in terms of a push of cold air. Headed to the beach in the morning. Why not? Right? 70 degrees to start the day. Northerly winds. I think there'll be some fog early, but some sunshine during the daytime. Afternoon temperatures actually a little cooler. By tomorrow evening, you're looking at about 66 degrees. Here are the tides. There are three. Seas running two to four feet. A moderate chop on the bay. The bay temperature right now has cooled. It's now at 56 degrees. So tonight, mainly cloudy. That fog will show up later on, and in places it could be rather dense. 62 for your low. Then tomorrow, right back up to 73. A lot of clouds, spotty showers, front slides through. Winds are variable, meaning they'll be out of the south until the front gets here and then out of the north behind the front, but not particularly strong. I think we're still mainly cloudy on Friday, back to 77, maybe some late day sun. And then for your weekend, Saturday and Sunday, both warm, 80, 81 or warmer. Some places could reach the mid 80s, both days of the weekend. That next front is nearby early next week, could trigger some showers, but a big cool down. Not on the horizon anytime soon. That is your updated first one five forecast.